Yeah, so this video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm thinking about quitting art. Awkward. Hi, I'm Dave, and this used to be Dave Makes Things, but now it's called The Hungry Artist, which is kind of weird considering what I said at the beginning. But allow me to explain because I'm not really quitting art. I mean, I might. Let's just say that I'm kind of putting it in the background a little bit, and it's really your fault. Why is it my fault, Dave? Why are you blaming me? I mean, you're the one who said you're going to make art, and you're going to make all the money, and you're going to do all the things, and now you're saying you're not going to do those things. Why Why is that my fault? Okay, so it's partially my fault, but you know, you're actually a little bit to blame here too, because I have found something that I enjoy doing even more than the art, and it's helping you, or trying to help you, or giving you guidance, or showing you a path, or doing a thing, and saying, hey, this is the thing that I tried, and I didn't do so good, but maybe you would do better. And I'm gonna explain the whole thing to you in just a minute, but I wanna give you a little bit of backstory. Excuse me for this little history lesson. 2006, I was working as an art director for a magazine publishing company, and things were getting a little bit stale. They were getting a little bit like, uh, I, I'm not enjoying this as much. I feel like I'm losing my creativity. So on my way home from work one day, I decided to stop by the art store, pick up a canvas and some paints, and I just start painting stuff. And it was bad, real bad. But it was fun, and I felt like I was like getting some creative spark back because I really had lost it at that company. Jump ahead to 2013, I walk into my office on a Monday feeling like I do not want to be here. In fact, I literally sat down in my chair, <sighs> I don't want to be here. And my copy editor, who sat in the cubicle in front of me, actually laughed at me. Turn to my computer, open up my email, and in there I see a note that says, hey, you have a mandatory meeting at 8.30 in the morning. Mind you, it was now 9.15. Shortly after that, I got a second email that said mandatory meeting, all hands on deck, and our entire group had to go have a meeting there where they basically said, guess what? You're all out of jobs. They had portioned off our segment of the company and sold it to somebody else, and they basically gave us our walking paper. And the funny thing is, I smiled the entire time because it was the best news I had heard all year. I'd been telling myself that I'd wanted to left the job. I'd already started doing a thing where I was writing on the internet, trying to help other creative people with marketing and ideas and things. Kind of like what I do here, but early on and different. But I told myself that I was going to jump ship by the end of the year, and the company decided to speed that process up for me with a big, fat, severance check. That was 2013, but then jump ahead to 2016, and I had a little bit of a crisis of conscience because I had been telling people for years about how to sell their art, where to sell their art, what kind of things they could do, but I wasn't actually doing it myself. I was making art, but I was very casual about it. About September of 2016, I said, I'm gonna start making art and I'm gonna show everybody the whole process, and that way, when I talk about how I'm gonna sell it and do the art itself, I will have knowledge, personal knowledge to share with y'all. The problem is, is that I fell in love with the art and I decided, you know what? I don't know if I wanna share the ideas so much as I want to share the art. I went on that venture for several years. Now here we are in 2023 and basically since 2020 during the pandemic where I was helping a lot of people with their questions and thoughts about what they're gonna do with their lives because everybody's locked in, not going anywhere. I have all this creative output. I wanna make something. What should I do? Dave, you happen to know all the answers, don't you? So I was doing my art and was sharing my thoughts on video and sharing my thoughts on social media. And then I created a newsletter and that newsletter turned into The Hungry Artist, which is now the kind of like the framework for everything I'm doing. Talking about creative business news, insights, commentary, all around the idea of helping you earn more from your creative work. I've been doing that solid for a couple years now and it just feels like the right thing to do and it's almost like I've come full circle to where I was back in 2013 ready to kick things off in a new way but this time instead of shelving the content and going directly to the art I'm gonna do the opposite but why are you gonna stop making art Dave isn't that the thing that gave you the crisis of conscience in the first place yes and that's something I'm gonna have to address probably in the future. For the time being, I am really enjoying sharing what knowledge that I have gained over the last several years because I have learned a lot. I've learned how to do things right, how to not do things right, what makes me happy, what makes my customers happy, and how to make and find new people to share my work with. So what does that mean for you, my dear viewer of this new Title. Nothing, really. It's just the title. Basically going to be the same stuff that I've always been talking about. There might be some different types of content coming in that all revolve around the idea of creative business and how you can build upon whatever it is that you're making. It's not going to be strictly art. I haven't been about that in a while. But everything is going to be tight. It, it tight enough that it still falls into the scope of what I do with The Hungry Artist, both in the newsletter, now in the YouTube videos, and wherever else that I might share it. The real goal here is to find ways to make a transformative change 
within you. Something that you can do for yourself that's going to change the way you do things. To change the way you make the art, change the way you earn from it, change the way you share. Could be any of those things and more. I just want to find ways to make this an impactful experience for you. Not just here, but also in the newsletter. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the Hungry Artist newsletter, you should. If you think the stuff that I'm doing here is good, you should go check out the newsletter because it's. I, I've been really proud of the things I've been sharing. There have been comments like this one about what I'm doing that you should also follow, you know, link in the description. Okay, but what am I really going to do about my art? That's a good question that I haven't quite figured out yet. Number one, I need to figure out if I'm not gonna be doing the art, am I still gonna be selling it on my website? And the answer to that is maybe? Still working on that one. But if I'm not selling on my website, where am I going to sell it? Also a good question. I am thinking, about SachiArt.com. If you're not familiar with SachiArt.com, well, just go look up SachiArt.com. Why SachiArt? I talked to a friend of mine about this, and I think it is a good, viable solution. Is it the best solution? I don't know yet. We're going to find out. And that's exactly why I think this works. I'm going to be making art for that, and I'm going to be putting it there, but I'm not gonna be solely focused on that. I'm gonna let the wheels of whatever it is that Saatchi Art does to help people make and find art and do things and sell art. I'm gonna see how that works as a more passive approach while I still am over here, the hungry artist, talking about all the other ways that we can build upon whatever it is that we're doing. I'm doing my thing, you're doing your thing. It's all different things, but we're all kind of like in this together, right? And I thought this would be a good time to, for me to share this because I'm about ready to hit a small milestone here on YouTube, about to hit 2,000 subscribers. But be, most people would be like, that's tiny Dave. Like, go away with that little, small, little number. What it means is that what I have been doing is working slowly, but getting there. And so I want to continue with this. I want to make sure that I'm providing great value. And I just want to say I appreciate you guys for being here and looking forward to growing even more. The only thing that I'm missing right now is I haven't hit the magic number as far as watch time on my videos so that I can get this channel monetized. If you wanted to help me out, you could. You can watch any of these videos and other videos and watch them repeatedly over and over again because that will help me get the numbers up and I'll get to that magic number, right? Okay, thanks very much, guys. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this one, go down and hit the like button. Uh, hit the comments if you want to tell me something. And if not, then I'll just see you next time. I've been Dave. You've been awesome. That's pretty good. I like it.